Hey everyone, and welcome to Skillcap's guide to Valorant's new agent, Reyna. We have studied countless hours of the best pros playing Reyna, along with consulting with some of the top players and coaches in Valorant to truly provide you with the best Reyna guide you simply won't find anywhere else. By the end of this guide, you'll have learned tricks to Reyna's abilities nobody has even heard of yet, the best tactics to use with her, the best spots on the map to play her, and so much more. We even cover ways to counter her, so there's something to learn for everyone. All right, enough hype, let's jump straight into it. I know you guys are going to love this one. To start, let's talk about Reyna's role on a team and her playstyle. Reyna is one of the best true solo queue agents in the game. This is the type of agent you want to lock in if you're queuing up by yourself or maybe one other friend and want to 1v9 hard carry your teammates. She is classified as a duelist, so think of other agents like Phoenix and Raze taking the role of an entry fragger. However, she's much more similar to an agent like Phoenix with her ability to self-heal and disengage from multi-opponent fights, giving her a more self-sufficient playstyle. Reyna is the type of agent when once mastered is designed to get you to the top of the scoreboard in kills, I'm talking 20, 30, 40 kills a game. But before you start dropping these 40 bombs, you need to first master her abilities. Reyna's first ability, Leer, is a blind similar to Phoenix's Flash or Breach's Flash that costs 200 credits. The main difference is that it will only blind opponents if the eye is on their screen, so they have to be actively looking at it. Additionally, the eye itself can be shot at and destroyed having only 100 health. The way you want to use her blind is to time a peek with it, this way the opponent will both be blinded as well as have to choose whether to shoot where they think you'll pop out or shoot at the eye to destroy it. And this leads into one of the most common mistakes players make with Reyna, throwing her blind behind themselves. You see, if you line yourself up with the eye, then the opponent will end up shooting you when they try to shoot the eye. At the same time, there is a hidden interaction no one really knows about right now. If the eye is directly behind you, it will actually show the opponent an outline of your agent's model, letting them easily see you and kill you even though it looks as if they're blinded. In short, don't ever place your blind directly behind you. This leads to an obvious question, where should you be placing the eye when you go to blind and peek opponents? Well, there are two methods. The first involves the tactic of throwing the eye slightly higher than your head and away from where you'll be peeking. The idea is that to destroy the eye, the opponent will have to aim far away from where you'll be peeking. Once the eye is destroyed, they will have to swing both horizontally and vertically to try and shoot you, giving you a high chance to win the aim battle. The second method involves using it as a pop flash. Notice how when we cast the eye far away from us, that the opponent can see the orb travel and anticipate and prepare for the blind. However, if you aim at the ground, you're actually able to adjust how close or far away the eye will land. This can allow you to cast the orb on the ground right around a corner, giving the opponent much less time to anticipate and react to the blind. Another way that you can pop flash is by casting it through walls. When you go to cast Leer, watch the minimap and you'll see a red circle indicating where it will land. You can cast it through walls, this way the opponent doesn't see the orb traveling through the air and it essentially pop flashes them. You want to alternate between these different usage cases so you don't become too predictable. If one isn't working, try the other to catch them off guard and vice versa. With that being said, there are some definite mistakes you want to avoid when using the blind as well. Be very careful of throwing the eye too high in the air. This can allow opponents to simply walk forward so the eye is off their screen and they are no longer blinded. Simultaneously, be very careful about throwing the eye too close to opponents. This can also allow them to simply move forward and no longer be blinded. Next, we have Reyna's heal ability, Devour, which costs 100 credits and you also get one free charge of it every single round. Whenever Reyna kills an opponent, they will drop an orb that lasts for a short period of time. Keep in mind, you need to get the finishing kill in order to get the orb to drop, assists will not count. By activating Devour, you will consume the orb to heal yourself. However, this heal has some very unique features. Firstly, it can actually overheal you, giving you armor. Yes, this means on pistol rounds, if you get a kill, you can suddenly overheal yourself to get 50 armor even if you're at 100 health. This overheal is represented by purple text to the left of your health. Keep in mind though, it will only last 30 seconds before it expires. Additionally, you can't overheal past 150 health, meaning if you had 100 health and 50 armor, you won't gain any additional health or armor by healing. There are some other downsides to it as well. When you do cast it, it creates a line connecting you to the orb. The enemy can not only see this tether, but also hear it. So when you heal off an orb, you have to realize it will reveal you to the opponent exactly where you are. 
Additionally, the heal tether won't go through walls, so if you suddenly hide behind a wall, it will cut off the tether and cancel the heal. Well, there's actually a pro tip not many players know about, it will go through the edge of corners without breaking the tether as long as you maintain vision of the orb that has dropped. So if you do need cover, you can hide behind the edge of corners and still gain a heal. Basically, there's a sweet spot where you can still be behind a wall and not break the tether. Now, I know some of you may be debating how strong this ability actually is given the downsides we just covered, but trust me, this ability is insanely valuable and is one of Reyna's core strengths. The fact that you can overheal means if you take any damage at all, you want to immediately consume that orb off a kill to heal up and get back to full health and armor. Keep in mind that this overheal lasts for 30 seconds, which is just such a long time that the chances of it expiring before you get into another gunfight is very low. When you kill an enemy, assuming no other enemies are aiming at you, you should immediately look to overheal back up. This is the key to letting you take multiple gunfights in a row and rack up kills. Yes, as we mentioned, opponents will be able to see the heal tether revealing where you are, but keep in mind, after you kill an opponent, you're already revealed on the map, so this really shouldn't make that much of a difference. Alright, moving on to Reyna's next ability, Dismiss, which makes you invulnerable for a few seconds. This ability shares its charges with the previous ability, Devour, and follows the same process of being used on orbs that drop. Be aware though, while you are invulnerable and take no damage, you're not able to shoot and it will take a massive amount of time to get your weapon out after the ability ends, so you want to use this ability to disengage after a kill and reposition and get to cover. The most common mistake players make with this ability is trying to use it aggressively. This will just end up with you awkwardly staring at an opponent without your gun and easily killed. Another mistake players make is trying to use this ability to be stealthy. Dismiss will make a trailing sound to the enemy when you cast it, along with a massive sound that is a footstep circle and a half far once the ability ends. So you need to realize that although you're invulnerable and can reposition, good players will know where you are. This ability will also give you a boost of movement speed at the beginning of the cast. Again, this helps you reposition. Here's how you should be using these two abilities, Devour and Dismiss, with Reyna. When you take on one-on-one -on -one gunfights and win, you want to use Devour to overheal back to full health and armor. However, when you're taking on multiple opponents, you want to instantly cast Dismiss to go invulnerable and prevent the other enemies from trading kills and get to cover. Lastly, we have Reyna's ultimate, Empress. This requires 6 alt points to charge and gives a massive boost to your attack speed and reload time. It essentially gives you Brimstone's Stim Beacon. It also makes your screen slightly darker, which I'm going to be honest is a bit annoying, but will also fully highlight any enemies you see, similar to how opponents will look in Viper's ultimate. This buff will last 30 seconds and it resets with every single kill Reyna gets. On top of this, it will have unique interactions with her Devour and Dismiss abilities. Devour, which is her heal, will now activate automatically on kills and doesn't consume the soul orb. What's amazing is that this automatic heal doesn't cause a tether that will reveal you to the enemy and it doesn't stop if you go behind walls. When you use Dismiss while you're in Empress, on the other hand will grant her invisibility on top of being invulnerable. Now I know at first this sounds super overpowered and you're probably thinking of all the crazy Metal Gear Solid plays that you can make. However, this invisibility is way weaker than people realize. For one, you actually make a sound if you get too close to an opponent. You can see the ring on the minimap indicating when an opponent will hear you. On top of this, when you come out of invisibility, you make a super loud noise that is heard a footstep circle and a half away. So yes, it's cool that you'll go invisible when you use dismiss while ulted, but don't make that super common mistake of thinking that you're a ninja. Now, here's the thing about Reyna's ultimate. It's perfectly fine to use it at the start of rounds. Since it lasts 30 seconds and resets on kills, you can activate it at the start of the round, then get a kill, reset the duration, get another kill, and end up having it for the entire round. So don't try to hold it for the perfect situation, the best players often just cast it at the start of rounds and look for the kill reset. Additionally, another optimization that a lot of players don't understand is that it will boost your attack speed by a percentage. This means that the higher your gun's base attack speed, the more attack speed you'll gain from your ultimate. So if you're going to use your ultimate, consider using the Phantom instead of the Vandal for that round. You'll get a bigger attack speed boost and have the larger magazine size to spam bullets. And yes, that means guns like Odin, Ares, Stinger, and Spectre are absolutely insane with their ultimate as their high fire rate is increased to astronomical levels. Even the automatic shotgun is nuts with her ultimate. Basically, when you use your ultimate, try to get a hold of a fast firing weapon as you'll get a far bigger attack speed boost from it. All right. Now you understand the ins and outs of Reyna, let's check out how the pro players put all this knowledge together to consistently top frag. 
Before we get into this though, we here at Skillcapped put a ton of effort into this guide, and the best way to show your support is to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get more premium guides just like this one. We only work with the best players in Valorant with one goal in mind, helping you become a better player. So if you want to take your game to the next level, make sure to subscribe. Alright, let's begin with what you should be buying on the first round. Well, nearly every single pro player is starting with the Ghost, one Leer Charge, and one Devour slash Dismiss Charge. This makes sense when you think about it, since you can overheal it's kind of a waste to buy armor on pistol round. Instead, you can get that one shot headshot with the ghost, and then heal yourself to full armor right after. This is all well on pistol round, which is honestly a bit overpowered so definitely look to use this strategy on the first round. Next, let's take a look at three different pro players to see how they're top fragging with Reyna, starting with 10s from Cloud9. Here, he's on the map Haven, and looks to take control of Garage. Taking control of Garage on Haven is very common for agents that have flashes like Phoenix and Breach, since it's such a small area the enemy either dies or has to give up control of the area if they're flashed. He peeks off his blind, gets control of Garage, and then pushes through the smoke. He then hears someone to his close right, and again, looks to time his peek with his blind. Notice with how close Sova is that he isn't impacted by the blind, however, the enemy Reyna behind him was. This lets him get an isolated 1v1 instead of taking a 2v1. Still, always be careful of taking fights on opponents that are super close to you as it's very hard to land blinds on them. After getting the kill, he hasn't taken any damage, so he doesn't need to consume the orb for a heal. Instead, he uses it to cast Dismiss and goes invulnerable to reposition. And here, we can see just how risky it is using Dismiss aggressively can be. If the enemy jet had a rifle instead of an operator, she could have just waited for Reyna to come out of invulnerability and easily kill her while Reyna was stuck in the animation of pulling out her gun. Instead, he's able to reposition to a new angle. This allows him to separate the enemy jet and Reyna, taking a 1v1 and getting another kill. In fact, right after this kill he chooses to use Dismiss aggressively again. This is something we kept recommending that you don't do, but Tenz, being the insane player that he is, shows us how creative you can be with Reyna. He ends up going point blank on Jet and moving back and forth and even jumping, making it extremely difficult for Jet to hit an op shot while he waits for his gun to come out. A really unique tactic on Reyna to counter oppers. Now on defense, once again we see him playing Garage on Haven. He calls for Sova to peek off his blind with him, but then hears a lot of action see long. Here, we see how Reyna's blind can actually be used to stall pushes. Instead of just peeking off the blind, he uses the blind to prevent the enemy from rushing and getting trades together. This ends up isolating Jet and getting a free kill. With no other enemies peeking him, he instantly casts his Devour for that overheal and then looks to peek the enemies one by one. What this means is that after each kill, he can heal back up to full and then peek again once he's healthy. This is a great example of what multiple kills should look like on Reyna. You aren't wide swinging into mowing down the entire enemy team. You're getting one kill, over healing back to 150, then taking each enemy one by one, looking to heal back up between each engagement. Alright, next let's look at the pro player Asu. Again, we're on the map Haven and we can see him also choosing to play Garage. This frees him up to cast his blind outside of doors and go for a peek on the defense. However, we see Asu decide not to cast his blind and instead do what's called a dry peek. Why is this? Well, sometimes when you cast your blind as Reyna, it telegraphs to the opponent that you're about to peek. Switching things up and dry peeking makes you unpredictable. Since they're expecting you to peek off the blind, they may not be watching the door or expecting you to dry peek at that exact moment. Afterwards, he falls back and the enemy team is pushing mid to B, so he repositions to B site. Again, notice how the enemy is pushing, so he uses his blind to prevent the enemy team from being able to all rush together and trade kills. This allows him to safely pick off one enemy without the enemy team being able to fire back. Next is probably the most typical way you want to use Dismiss, so pay close attention. He has an orb on the ground from the kill, but he's being closed in on by the enemy team. So he peeks and instantly consumes the orb with Dismiss, making him invulnerable. This also gives his team scouting info on where the enemy team is positioned. He then immediately uses his invulnerability to disengage and reposition to a safer spot. Now, he can move back in and safely re-peek one angle at a time. Really impressive stuff by Asu showing how to single-handedly hold an enemy push with Reyna. In fact, this combination of repositioning and using Dismiss to get scouting info is something Asu is really good at. In this clip, notice how he kills the enemy Sova, which drops an orb for him to consume. He then peeks, consumes the orb, and wide swings to get scouting info before then repositioning back to safety. Now he knows where Phoenix is, which makes for an easy peek kill. And finally we have the pro player Mendo on the map Bind. 
He's playing Hookah, again similar to Garage on Haven in that it allows you to flash out into an early pick. But it's here we see one of Reyna's unique weaknesses, blinding multiple opponents. You see, there are three enemies waiting for Mendo to peek. This means they can destroy the eye extremely fast. In fact, only one or two of them need to destroy the eye, while the other waits for Mendo to peek. Compare this to agents like Breach or Phoenix where if they land a blind on multiple enemies, they will all be blinded for a set amount of time. In Reyna's case, blinding multiple enemies often results in the eye being shot at and destroyed much faster, allowing them to be able to see you by the time that you peek. Later on, we see another example of Reyna's weaknesses. He goes for his blind into peak out of Hookah and ends up eventually getting a kill on the enemy Reyna. With Jet aiming at him, he immediately casts Dismiss to disengage. However, he then re-peaks as he's coming out of his Dismiss animation and we can see how it leaves you completely vulnerable as it takes you so long to pull out your gun. Don't worry though, shortly after, Mendo redeems himself showing us exactly how to use Reyna's ultimate. He activates it at the start of the round, which is what you want to do since it lasts such a long time and refreshes on kills. As soon as he gets one kill, he's automatically healing due to his ultimate, so he instantly consumes the orb with his dismiss ability, putting him both invulnerable and invisible. He uses this time to scout if another enemy is nearby before heading back to cover. He then uses his blind to try and help delay the push from B long. Then he looks to time a peek off his own blind in Hookah. Again, gets the kill, his ultimate is instantly healing, so he makes sure to cast Dismiss and use it for scouting information before going back to cover. He then gets the kill on the enemy jet, and what do we see? Him instantly casting that Dismiss ability to scout the enemy's position while he's both invisible and invulnerable, making sure that he gets behind cover as it expires. Now that he knows where the enemies are, he looks to peek and makes for an easy kill. He then casts Dismiss off the orb and looks for that final kill for the ace, which of course is stolen from him right before he could get it. Alright, so what do you guys think of Reyna so far? Is she overpowered, balanced, or too weak? Let us know in the comment section below as we'd love to hear. And while you're down there, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get more premium guides just like this one and start taking your game to the next level. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching, and good luck, good half, and good game.